Tessa Tour alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the famed New York Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for a much anticipated main event. 15 rounds of heavyweight action. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. Dynamite giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Johnson's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. In the blue corner, hailing out of Jersey City, His adversary, by way of Wilmington, the Giants, Johnson. Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. All right, let's go. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Well off the mark by Dynamite. Johnson's putting forth a little boom, 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 a three punch combination score. I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out hat. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that... Look at that! A good knifing punch. That back power hand just scored the knockdown. One, two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit. But I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. He scored well after being hit himself. Jab with the straight. Classic combination. Good accuracy with that uppercut. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. A stab. And now he's got to be careful because he's been warned for the headbutting. He's working the butt. Johnson's on the bad end of a flush, solid hook. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good combination to the head. End of this round. Long time. I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. All right, keep your hands up, all right? All right, you do it.
quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that will be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. Johnson's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. You know, that jab is so basic, so simple, but as you can see, so very effective for him early on in this fight. Yeah, well, he's telling his opponent, you're not coming onto my property. You know, I have a dog. Oh, yeah. And yet another good shot comes in, and he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? It's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, the Jordan Johnson. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's going to get everybody in the division's attention. Johnson's power ends this early. You see results like this sometimes from combination, but one shot, wow. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.